Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Advanced Stream. I'm Richard. I'm Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Shannon. I'm Chakao on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Vivian. I love Cheerful on the Make Code Forum. Um, and I have a plan today um, that I just came up with. Um, and I'm going to sing it instead of saying it. Vivian, join me. Oh, well, sure. No, 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 no. Yeah, put it up, put it up, put it up. Did you think of it because you saw yourself in the mirror? Yes, I thought of it because I'm literally wearing my Katamari shirt today. And I was like, let's make a Katamari game. This is a great idea. Richard, you've muted yourself. <laughs> Shannon, you muted. But I think we made did. a Katamari game a while ago, but it was like a, it was a, like a long time ago. And I think we have um, since learned much more about making games in arcade. I think we can make a better one. When did you make a Katamari game? Um, we made it. It was like, um, do you remember this? Daryl made Daryl one. Game. Yeah. Yeah. It was like there were things and they like you collected them and they like oh was it the kelp tornado? It was the kelp Daryl tornado. That's what it was. Called yeah. kelp. Um, and then there was like a thing where like kelp would like collect items and they would like orbit around her. Um, and <laughs> Uh, it would make like a little tornado of things. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Um, okay, we're going to make a Katamari game, and um, I'm going to need you guys to just make... I need a lot of sprites, and I need them to just be random stuff. All right? Around the house? Around the city? Where, oh, the... That's a good question. That's a good question. What do we want to do? Well, you're making what? grass. Yeah, true. Okay, we'll do outside, but um, I'll leave you guys too. Why don't each of you just come up with a theme of things that could be outside and just put all of your things in the theme and you can communicate as much or as little as you want. But... And then do you want like an outline or anything? Hmm. Uh, I don't like outlines generally. So let's not do an outline. All right, so we're just going to get a real basic um, uh, tile map going. So I'm just making like a little little rock path right now because I don't know, just to have something. We're going to put it on the grass. Do, 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 do. All right, and so let's talk about Katamari if you've never played this game. Um, so Katamari is a very fun game. You should play it where um, you... Uh, Basically, you roll around a ball, and as you roll on roll stuff, you pick it up. Um, and there's just a bunch of random objects all over the world. And as you roll them, you pick them up. And um, the bigger you are, the larger objects you can pick up. So this is something that I think was actually missing in our first Katamari game, was that we didn't actually care about your size. You could just always pick up anything. Um, so I want to I wanna do something with size today. Um, and... Uh, yeah, but seriously, if you haven't played Katamari, it got like remastered um, recently. Uh, you should you should go and play it. I um I haven't played the remaster, but it looks good. Really? What 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 does it mean when a game's remastered? Um, it means that it's just remade, but like, like I feel like the, there's some some uh controversy over the ter terms remake and remaster. Uh huh. Um, and what I what I interpret it as is um, a remake is they made it again, but they made changes. A remaster is they just made the graphics better. Oh, is that the same? <laughs> Wait, so they remaster music. Do they also remake songs? Um, well, someone might do a cover. That would be a remake. Um, and remaster is they just make the sound quality better. They take the original tapes and they, um, you know, record them better and mix them or mash them in a different way. That makes sense. They remake TV shows a lot. I don't know if I've ever heard of anyone like remaking a song. I mean, covers. But it's like, um, I feel like it's Taylor different. Swift cover is, is the same Taylor. song, but a different person singing it. You I guess know? that's true. Taylor like, Swift like, right now is re-recording all her albums. But exactly the same as before, right? No, they're different. I thought she was just singing the songs again so she would have rights to them. 
Vivian, do yeah. you know about <laughs> They're different. Like Phoebe Bridgers, I know, is guesting on one of the tracks. Oh. Um, I, I think they're largely similar because the point is to have them be the same so that she can sell them again. It's like a rights thing. I know, but I think there's, I think, I mean, I think some of them are like, you know, subtly different. So mm -hmm. anyway, sorry. Enough about Taylor Swift. I'm really outside of my wheelhouse talking about Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, the, the new songs sound really good, right? <laughs> I, I do know about this. I just missed the Taylor Swift part. Okay, ah. sorry. <laughs> Wait, so are they different? She's re I think making? Uh, <laughs> they are different. I think she sang them again, but it's mastered better. <laughs> yeah, so I think that a remaster is you are using the original tapes, okay, mm -hmm. um, and just doing the processing differently. Mm -hmm. Whereas a remake is, you know, you're recording them again. So I, I would say this falls in the category of remake, but we're 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 just splitting hairs where they don't need to be split really there's no reason to to make this distinction I really like this idea of this paradigm of like remakes and remasters and i feel like we should apply it to all aspects of 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 worlds you know okay give me give me okay. some more applications like okay for buildings we often remaster buildings do we often remake buildings like okay sure we we've heard of tourism right where you travel to someplace far away to go visit something interesting That's but what if we copied that thing brick by brick in your village so you could see it where you, where you are? Wouldn't that be cool? Um, okay, so isn't that what Las Vegas is? But small. <laughs> Some might call that a cover. That's true. Um, okay, Janet, give me one. Give you one. Uh, a remake or remaster that you could do in 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 a life that's not music or video games. Uh, maybe if someone cooks you something that you really like, and then you take the leftovers and you hmm. <laughs> add some more water to it. Yeah, put them in the microwave. That's a remaster. It might be a reverse remaster where you take something and you make the quality slightly worse. <laughs> um, okay, I like it. And then a remake would be. I feel like this is an easy one, actually. Oh, and you just get the recipe, right? Mm -hmm. Classic. <laughs> it is classic in its own way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, chat, if you think of anything that this concept could be applied to, um, you know, we want to hear about it. As always, we're about innovation. Uh, okay. All right, I made a little house. Um, and I guess I should give it a roof. Ugh. Um, I don't, I don't want to spend the entire time doing this, so I'm going to make a roof real quick. And I won't do windows or anything, and I won't do my fancy stuff on the sides or anything like that. Um, I just want to have something, you know, like around. Um, okay. Let's see. We're just going to do. What's up? Is it a new feature where if you like marquee your pixel or and you drag it to the left, it wraps around? No, I think it's a is bug. It? Also, transparency <laughs> on the marquee is broken. Oh, what? well, it's a very cool bug. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's a I great way to make tessellations. <laughs> if you select a transparent pixel, the preview eats up the thing below it. And then if you click out, it shows up. Vivian, you should make a tessellation game. Ooh. You know, Shannon, uh, I'm much older than I was when I first learned about tessellation, but I still think about it a lot because I don't really understand tessellation. <laughs> Can you explain tessellation to me? 
spell. It's a word that sounds like Tesseract, which is a fixture in the popular series. Um, oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Shannon, Langle. Uh, oh, Wrinkle of Time. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Wow, I thought you were jokingly pretending not to remember the name of Marvel's Avengers. Yeah, what, the Avengers? No. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, you you have my you promise. I won't reference the Avengers. Nothing, nothing, nothing's wrong with the Avengers, but <laughs> not my not my forte. Um, yeah, wrinkle in time. Yeah. Uh, All about tessellations is you take a rectangle, right? And you're like, I would love to wallpaper my room, but I don't want to just put on boring. Oh, no, no, so you have a book of wallpaper. You don't want to pay for real wallpaper. <laughs> you want to use your wallpaper samples, which are all squares. So then you draw the city skyline on it, and then you cut it out, and then you put the bottom of it, no, the top of it to the bottom of it, and that's a tessellation. <laughs> yep. But I don't really, I don't really get it. I think you're that's right. What that's what it says in a, um, in any math textbook you look at. <laughs> Wait, what's right. right? Okay. We got a basic tile map now. Um, so we can get to the actual coding. I'm going to make a character, and this character is going to be, it's going to be a beetle. Once it's in your head, you can't stop. I can't do this, Richard. <laughs> I can't get back into the cut of art. It really invests. Like, there's some games I feel like where if you play it, then you can't stop thinking about it. You know, Katamari is there's, one of those games. Yeah, there are some games that are just perfect, and Katamari is one of those games. <laughs> All right, we're just going um, quick, quick and dirty for our um, beetle protagonists, I think, um, because I don't want to spend forever doing animations. I want to get to the actual code for this. And there's going to be some code. <laughs> um, so we're just going to do a quick little beetle thing. We'll give him um, some some little things and some eyes, I guess. Boop, boop. There you go. We got a beetle. Um, all right. So we're gonna make it so we can control this guy with buttons. So let's go ahead and do that. And the idea is that he's going to be pushing something around. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go into scene. Oh, oh, oh. Um, we're gonna go into scene and we're going to do a, um, uh, a camera follow, my sprite. Um, and let's see, what do you guys think? Should, um, should we just make it so that you have like, um, I want to make it so you're pushing something around because I don't want to. I don't want to obscure our little her hero here. Um, I feel like I should make him tinier. I will say my fire hydrant is six by eleven. Oh, six by eleven, perfect. But, no, it's it's good to have it's good to have small things. Okay. So um, we'll go real tiny. Um, we'll do six by six. Um, See, I just can't stop. That was Katamari? I thought you were seeing Rudolph. No, that's something I can't get stuck in my head. It is too early for that. Woo! <laughs> it's a beetle. Your honest opinion, Vivian. So it's a beetle. Uh, I, I don't look at beetles too often, I will say. That's not exactly a reading endorsement. Uh, are the whites the eyes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see that. 
Shannon, is this a beetle? Sorry, I'm trying to find when we played Go Mustangs level in the vision um, stream. Um, what is happening? This is a beetle. Oh, yeah, that's a guy. All right, cool. I think maybe okay. the head shouldn't overlap the body. Mm, 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 mm. Is there eyes? Oh, oh, like legs. Yeah, yeah. Now get rid of the legs. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and make it so that we actually draw the ball now. So I think the way to do this is I'm going to use um, our favorite extension. All of us, all of us have this as our favorite extension. We haven't discussed this before. Um, sorry, no, we're not doing it. Sorry, Billy, and I, I realized how that was misleading. It's not my favorite extension. <laughs> what a lie. <laughs> Uh, we're adding Arcade Sprite Util, um, also known as Sprite Utils. Um, and we're going to be using this to render our like um, ball or whatever we're rolling around. The idea is that this is like a dung beetle, but I don't want to get, you know, like gross about it. But, you know, it's a, it's a beetle who's just rolling things. And he, he's decided he's going to roll everything. Oh, that's cute. What's cute? It's a dung, it's rolling. Oh, That's, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, wow. Great idea, Richard. All right, we're going to do a character animation thing now. Um, and I want to do this just so I can tell which direction I'm facing. Um, so we're going to actually use this loop frames, but we're just going to use our one frame. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to go into here. We're going to make this six by six and go ahead and paste them in. Hey, I said paste. I guess it didn't copy. There we go. Um, and this will be when uh, facing up. Um, and now let's go ahead and just duplicate this three times. And so an important thing with the character animations extension is that you need to have a rule that has facing um, in order for it to register facing in the code. Um, so if you want to use is facing direction, you want to make sure you are OK, I really messed this one up. There we go. Um, you want to make sure that you have your um, you have a rule for each facing direction. Um, all right. Go ahead and make sure we make this all of the different directions. So facing right, facing down, facing left. There you go. Look at him go. So the reason we want to know which direction we're facing is so that we can draw the little ball that we are moving. So we're going to go into our render on Z index. We're going to make this a Z index like two. Um, and we're going to draw a circle. So inside of Sprite Utils, we have a draw circle. Let's see, where is that at? There we go. We're going to change the my image to be screen. And for the CX, CY, we want to make sure that we're drawing it um, at the right location as to where the player is. Um, so we don't want to use a fixed location because, oh, sorry, I want to use fill circle. Let me get fill circle. <laughs> That's Joey's song. That's true. No, Joey's song is beep, boop, beep, boop. I miss Joey. Me too. <laughs> it's a yeah. shame we lost him in that horrible climbing accident. Joey's fine. He had a meeting today. OK. Um, so we want to uh, basically we're going to calculate this using our camera. So we're going to go ahead and get the camera and we want to use the camera left. Um, and we're going to do the uh, like location of our sprite. Um, so we're going to do the sprite of well, yeah, my sprite's fine. And we're just going to subtract the camera left. And we're going to do the um, same thing for the top and Y. All right, so now we've got a little circle that is just covering up our little guy. That's not what we want, though. We want to use our facing direction and offset it based off that facing direction. 
So we're going to make a variable now which is going to be called current radius. And the idea is that as we roll things up, it's going to get bigger and bigger. Um, and we'll set it to just be five for now. And um, we're going to use some if statements to go ahead and switch over which direction we're facing. So inside of the character animations extension, we can get this is block. And we can go ahead and make this is um, facing right. And we'll go ahead and fill in the other ones. So is facing down, is facing left. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put this inside of here and we're going to add something to both of these, depending on which direction we are facing. So I'm going to put a plus into both of these, even though we only need to add plus to one of the directions. And that's just to make it easier copy and paste. And let's make sure we use that radius, that current radius thing we did, because that's a quarter now. Um, all right, so I think we're going to do like current radius plus like four or something, or maybe five to give us a little bit of wiggle room. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so now let's go ahead and, and copy this. So we want to do plus in the X direction for the right, or down we want to do plus in the Y direction. So I'm just going to take this and pop it right there. Um, for left, we want to do um, a minus. So I guess I'll um, swap these guys around. And then for up, we want to do a minus in the y direction. I think I did that right. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, what the? Whoa. What? What the? What? Did I, um, did I accidentally, did I copy and paste wrong? Yeah, okay, there we go. That's, that's no good. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, cool. So we got our basic thing going. Um, we want to now do our rolling up logic. Oh, I'm realizing now it would have been way easier if I had made this a sprite, but. Oh, well. Um, we'll make it so that we'll make it so that when our beetle overlaps with something, um, they'll just throw it onto the onto the thing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start. Let's see, we're gonna go smallest to biggest. So I'm looking at the size of these things now, and I think Shannon wins for smallest. But Shannon, um, wait. Well, uh, yeah, just one second. Ah. <gasps> and, and keep it coming, guys. We, we need as many as many random things as we can make, and you know. Don't 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 be furious with me. If if you if you are furious with me, please feel free to not do it. Wait, why would we be furious at you? Because you know I'm asking you to make a lot of sprites. Oh, well, okay. You know, Richard, only for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, seven by seven, and it is a baseball. Shannon, is there a reason baseball happens to be on your mind at the moment? Baseball is a thing you play outdoors. Whose mind wouldn't it be on? That's true. Um, no, nobody thinks about baseball anymore. It's over, so it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> the Mariners lost, guys. Um, <laughs> all right, um, next we have, um, also from Shannon, flowers. Aw. Next up is um, from Vivian. We have a six by 11. You already said what it was. It's a fire hydrant. Oh, right. I think it's smart now and it like puts in the right block. Mm -hmm. So nifty. There we go. Oh, I like it. How good that looks zoomed out. <laughs> Safety. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, my next thing looks terrible. <laughs> and my next thing, you mean this mailbox? I'm looking at the silhouette. It looks mailbox shaped. Shannon made the mailbox. Wait, Shannon made the mailbox? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm in the thing I'm working on now anyway. You can't see the shape. 
<laughs> That's a good mailbox. Mailbox. Do, do, do. Okay, we're going to go now to, let's see, fire hydrant, mailbox. Guess the next one it would be uh, Vivian's. Oh, I thought you froze. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> okay, cool. I was really worried for a second. <laughs> All right. Um, now, if I am silent for three seconds, I'll make a ping so you know that well, I'm still. Okay. At least, okay. Mm -hmm. Something has to be changed. Shannon also <laughs> stopped moving, so. Mm. Look at that. Stop sign. Oh. No. Did it say no? <laughs> I couldn't fit stop. <laughs> I mean, it gets it across, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, amazing. No. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's like, stop is just being, it's like, stop whatever you're doing. And no is just like, no. <laughs> it has an intensity that the other lacks. Yeah. You know, I think we could fix it by like slapping on exclamation marks on the end of stop signs. Stop! <laughs> but I think no stop sign should just have a period at the end. No. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> All right. We got our list of objects, and I think for now what we're going to do is we're just going to spawn these randomly, but that's not how I want to leave it. I want to make it so that we actually put these into a tile map at some point, but we might do that off stream. Um, so if we're going to spawn a bunch of these guys, and the other thing we need to do is we're going to have a display up in the top left that is going to be keeping track of how big our um, our little you know thing is. Um, so to do that, we're going to go and um, add another extension. Uh, no, actually, you know what? Let's just use Joey's extension. Wait, no, this doesn't have print text. Uh, is Joey in chat? Joey's here, yeah. Joey, can you please add print text to image to your extension? <laughs> I would appreciate it so much. Here, I can be the voice of Joey. You have command access to the PR. <laughs> True. Pretty good voice of Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> See, did I remember it? No. Oh my god, that's a quarter. Why did <gasps> I try? No, 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 no. Yeah. Guys, I heard an actual air horn the other day. I hate to break it to you, but um, our air horn impression is no good. Doesn't that's what I've been saying since day one. <laughs> um, we'll work um, on it. Would you mind looking this up for me? Um, I'll find it. Probably need it. Um, okay. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to try some more things. It's only one quarter, right? If I get it wrong again. Yeah. yeah. Is it arcade image text? Ah, yeah. There it is. All right. Arcade image text just adds a very useful block, which is um, print text to, um, the screen. So we're going to go ahead and print this. Um, we're going to be printing the size of our thing. Um, and we're going to measure it in centimeters. Um, it, this is not going to be accurate. It's not accurate in Katamari either. Um, so we're just going to go into our render function um, and go ahead and do a print up here. And we're going to do a text join. Do, 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 do. Gonna make this part CM. And we're gonna make our um, current radius be the first part. And we're gonna make this screen. And this is the top left, so we'll just make it like 2 2. Um, and we'll make the color, nah, that's a little harsh. Purple. There we go. All right, yeah, all right. So we got a little display now. So um, if we want to um, start rolling things up, let's start putting some things in the world. Um, so I think what we want to do is we want to make it so that we have a list of these things and we want to have a list of their size. So we're going to go into um, uh, arrays again. We're going to get another list. So let me go ahead and make this things. Um, and over here, we're going to do a uh, size. Uh, 
Um, and this is going to be how much this adds to your radius. Um, so for let's let's just get started off. I think baseball is just going to add one cm. Um, uh, flowers will add two. Um, uh, let's see. Um, fire hydrant will be hmm, be significantly more, right? Do five, and then mailbox will be um, eight. And stop sign will be 12, and then bench will be 20. Um, all right. Uh, and so this is going to. Oh, sorry. Right, what's up? No, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> what? I was just going to say this is going to be hard to add items to later, but I guess you can break your sorted by size rule. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not, it doesn't need to be sorted by size. I was just doing it that way for fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm glad you brought that up because I was like, okay, well, I can only make bigger <laughs> No, 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 please. Make, okay. whatever, make whatever you want. The, the joy of Katamari is you roll up a pizza first and then you roll up, you know, something completely unrelated next, like a salmon. I'll make a salmon. Thank you. Okay, we're going to do a game on game update interval. Um, we're going to just spawn some random things for now. So we're going to create some sprites. So let's go ahead and do set my sprite to this. We're going to go into our arrays. Uh, and oh, I think it's time to add another extension. Um, guys, get ready. Get ready. Vivian, will you, will you lead us? Oh, okay. It's time for. Arcade Sprite Data. Were we all synchronized that time? I think we were pretty. I was watching the stream. We're pretty synchronized. Okay. In, in terms of the, in terms of the. <laughs> yeah, I, I went. I went backwards this time since I'm not hosting. So I think it's necessary. Can I say, guys? It looked pretty cool. <laughs> the dream. All right, so we're adding sprite data. You might be able to guess why. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a random number that is going to be our index into here. We're going to, um, when we create that thing on our index, we're also going to um, put the size inside of the sprite. So we're going to go into here. We're going to get a set data right here. Um, let's go ahead and make a new variable for this. Make this just temp sprite. I always want to have a temp sprite in my project. Um, and we're going to put in size. Um, and we're going to make another variable, which is going to be um, thing index. And we're going to set our thing index to be a pick random between 0 and the length of our array minus 1. All right. Um, so with this thing index, we're going to go into a race. We're going to do a get value at. And so for this one, we're going to do our get value at the um, uh, tip sprite. Uh, we want to do the get value at the uh, array thing we named, which was things. Um, whoops. We're going to use the thing index. And then for the size, we want to do it with sizes. There. Yeah, okay, you're fine. Um, all right, and so look, 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 look at all these objects we're making. Ow. That's great. Um, we we got to put them in places, though. So we're going to go into a scene, and we're going to do a place on top of random. And we'll place on top of some random grass. Okay, cool. So, you know, we got some small stuff we can pick up. All right, so let's do the pickup code. So the idea is going to be, um, let's see, I should I should make it so that you have to pick it up with the ball, shouldn't I? Sure, this is your game. You can do what you want. Yeah, I guess that's true, but you know, I need to be beholden to reality. That's true. Yeah. I understand. Mm-hmm. 
Um, no, nah, no, I don't. All right. Um, we're just going to do an on overlaps with the player. Um, and uh, we're going to make this kind thing. Um, and when our player overlaps with kind thing, then what we're going to do is we're going to change our current radius. Well, the first thing we're going to do is destroy the thing. Goodbye, thing. Later, we might try to do something fancy where it actually shows up in the ball. That would be fun. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead and do this. Um, so there we go. Look at that. Doop, 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 doop. Ow. I already like how this looks a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a pretty big one going. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So uh, the idea with this now is what we want to do is we want to make it so that we have to um, uh, we change the current radius. We'll, we'll leave it as changing the current radius by one, I think for now, um, but we want to use the size that we're storing to see if we are the correct size to be able to pick this thing up. So um, let's go into here. We're going to do a comparison. So right here, we're going to see if our current radius is greater than um, whatever the size of our thing is. So let's go into here and grab this data as number. Oh, no, not that. And get the size. Um, and also, we're going to change the radius by a smaller amount, I think. We'll change it by 0 0.25. Um, and uh, just to make our display not look terrible, because right now, let's see what happens when I start rolling things up. Um, OK, so we've got 5.25, 5.5. I guess this one, this actually works pretty well doing by Two fives. Yeah, okay, never mind. We'll just leave that at. Oh, whoa. Okay, the, the draw circle doesn't like it, though. <laughs> it is not a fan. All right. So um, let's go ahead and fix that. So inside of this draw circle where we're doing this current radius, we're going to just go into math. We're going to do a round, and we're going to put our current radius inside of a round. And that should hopefully fix that. Let's see. Baseball. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. So so we're we're going now. We're not getting any any weird um, things anymore. That's an Arduino asks how hard would it be to make it so that it goes like. Uh, by increments of 0 0.1. So like 40, 40.1, 40.2, up to 41. It would be easy. I just think that it might look a little bit worse in how it's getting printed out. It might take too long. I don't know. You know? We can try it though. But first I want to get the other mechanics in. Then we'll, we'll, then we'll try to fine tune stuff. I should probably stop playing. Um, <laughs> It's just, it's really nice to see it get bigger, you know? Okay, so I wanna, I, I don't think I'm gonna be satisfied with this game until I have these things getting rolled up into our um, ball. I don't know, how do, how do you guys feel about that? I think that's one of the key points of, you know, Kyle Mari is you see it in your ball, sometimes the things fly off, you're like, oh no. Yeah, so I, I think my plan for this is we're going to use uh, someone's going to have to look up this extension because I, I'm not trying to avoid a quarter. And if you want to give me a penalty quarter for, for this, I understand. But I, have, for the life of me, have no idea what it's called. Joey's Rotate it's... Objects. Oh, it's isn't it PXC Scaling? Yeah, it's PXC Scaling. All right. My pumpkin looks like an orange apple. 
I mean, isn't a pumpkin basically? It's so hard. <laughs> basically an orange apple? Yeah. Name three ways in which a, a, um, an apple and a pumpkin are different, um, other than being different colors. Yes. Do you carve apples, Richard? You can carve apples. Do you put candles in them? Hey, that's one. Okay. Um, pumpkins have the twirly vines, and the apples grow on trees. True. True. Yep. Okay. Pumpkins have lines, like an orange, segmented, like a clementine. I see. Not really Not like a clementine, but on the outside, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's the question. Where's the outside? Where's the peel of the pumpkin? <laughs> we, should, <laughs> we need to find it. The rind. OK, so <laughs> here's my basic idea. And this game is definitely not going to run on hardware. We're going to. As we roll things up, we are going to add them to an image. Okay, we're going to keep this image around. And as we move, we're going to, every time we move X number of pixels, we're going to rotate that image and we're going to draw that to where our ball is. Where we place the things in our image is going to be based off our current radius. So we can put it anywhere with inside the like range that we have. Does that sort of make sense to you guys? Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this image that we're going to be using. And we want this image to be big. So this is definitely not going to run on hardware, but we're going to set this image to be like, let's see, do we need to make this image big? Yes, I think we do. Why? Um, because we're going to be drawing stuff all over the place, you know, and I want to keep it growing. So it needs to be like the same image throughout. So we're going to go just really crazy with it. Don't do this if you want your game to run on hardware. Stuff image. We're going to make it the size of the screen. I'm sure Joey is um, very unhappy with how I'm using his extension right now. Joey, feel free to weigh in on this. Yeah, Joey. Okay, where is, what am I looking for? Oh, this overlaps. All right, so when this overlap happens, we want to draw our thing onto our image. So we're going to go into the Sprite Utils extension. We're going to grab our um, draw right here. And we're going to um, draw from the center using our pick random with our current radius. So we want to do a um, the center plus a pick random that's going to go from the negative radius to the positive radius. Joe is only slightly appalled. All right. But only at perf on hardware. Should be okay-ish in browser. Probably, maybe. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Okay, so we're going to draw this in the center. We're going to do 80, 60. Um, and the thing we want to draw is, let's go ahead and make this our image. So we're going to make this our stuff image. Um, and we want to draw this as um, our, our image from our sprite. So let's go ahead and just grab that right here. And we'll make this other sprite. All right, we're drawing to our image now. But we're not going to see it on the screen because we haven't made it into a sprite or anything. It's just kind of being drawn in the background. Um, and you know that's all fine and good. So um, we need to make another variable now, which is going to be um, ball image. And we're going to make another variable, which is going to be current rotation. Um, and we're going to set our current rotation to be zero, and we're going to set our ball image to be, yeah, that's fine. Um, OK, now as we move, we're going to do this inside of an on game update. And we're going to say if we are moving, so if our VX does not equal zero or our VY does not equal zero, 
How much time do we have left? Four minutes. All right. So if our VX does not equal zero, I'm, I'm really hoping this is going to look cool. We'll see though. Then we're going to change our rotation by some amount. So we'll just change it by one. Um, and when we change it by one, I think what we want to do is we need to basically every X amount of time, we will update our um, thing. So I'm going to do another on game update. We're going to make it every 500 milliseconds. And we're going to go and set our other image. So that variable we just made, the um, uh, ball image, to be a rotated version of that. So we're going to use this rotation right here. Um, we're going to rotate our um, the stuff image. Um, and we're going to rotate it by our current rotation. All right, so that's going to make our ball image a rotated version of our main image. Um, and finally, what we want to do is right here, we are drawing our image. We're drawing our, our circle. And so we're just going to draw our thing right on top of our circle. So we're going to go into our sprite utils. What are you laughing at, Vivian? Um, Shannon sent me an image from a pumpkin, but it's uglier than anticipated. But I think it's not her fault. Thanks, Vivian. <laughs> Shannon, I don't think you made this ugly pumpkin. I think it was mutated through image transfer. <laughs> I don't want to send it in the real chat because that would pollute Richard's copying. Let me, yeah, I'll send it in ours. <laughs> um, I don't know, though. Maybe it's just. <laughs> I changed the dimensions to be correct and it works. Oh, oh OK. <laughs> All right, so right now it's only going to show up if we're going in the right direction, but I just want to see if this this code will work. So let's go ahead. We're going to go into our ball image and make sure we're drawing that. And let's go roll some stuff up. Whoa. All right. Yeah. OK, maybe we need to do this a little bit less often. Making our game a little slow. <laughs> oh, something's happening. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, so it's drawing it in the wrong place, but you can see it, right? Mm -hmm. It looks awesome. It looks really good, but it's probably a little bit too slow um, to run. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this um, square. We're going to make this 100 by 100. Um, the less pixels we have, the easier this is going to be. Um, and uh, so if we make this square, um, then we want to, for this one, I think we want to create a sprite. So I'm going to create a sprite for this. Let's do it. Set the sprite to be our ball image. And we're going to go into sprites. We're going to go into here. We're going to set relative to camera to be true. Um, and we're going to get rid of this draw thing we're doing. And we're going to make it so that we um, make this by, let's see, two, two, two. I want to set the position. to be my sprite x plus and my sprite y plus. Um, and we want to do uh, the current radius plus 5, both of these. Well, just for the x. And let's go ahead and do this for all of our different directions. So this is facing down, so we just want to do this in the Y. This is facing left, so we want to do this in the um, negative. So we'll do a change this to be a minus. And then this one is the up, so we want to change the Y to a minus. 
Okay, so I made the image smaller, so hopefully it'll run a little bit faster, but it's probably gonna be still pretty slow, but it should draw better than it did before. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely still slow. Let's get some things we can actually roll up, or some baseballs. Um, I was looking at something else. Did, did you already get Joey's message from chat, Richard? No. Joey says, to be fair, if it's 100 by 100, it's not like you're gonna be able to meaningfully play the game anymore. Um, at that point, you could probably zoom to an 8x8 tile map or something, or a tile map that looks more zoomed out. I see. That's what Katamari does, right? You zoom out? It does zoom out, yeah. Yeah. It'll give me a lot more work, though. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Why is this not drawing? So I set my sprite to, to be this. Um, and then I'm setting this right here to be my sprite X plus, oh, uh, right. I don't need to do this my sprite Y business because it's relative to camera. Oh, wait, no. Okay, wait, leave this as is and then just turn off relative to camera. Hmm, still not getting anything. Why is that? Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I need to make this different. This needs to be 50. This needs to be 50. Uh, let's make this even smaller. We're going to switch it to be 50 by 50. I know it's lame, but we're, we're beholden to graphics. Richard, aren't you tired of being beholden to things? I am. But what, what, am, I to, what am I to do? We could be held in. I forgot that's the opposite of beholden. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess it's just a word I don't use very often. Beholden. It's because you're always beholden. Yeah, I should try to work that into my vocabulary more often, though. Good, good. <laughs> um, okay, I think one of the things that we're doing wrong is we need to set the z-index on this guy. Mm. Okay. Here's my pitch. We all get jerseys, you know, with our Mako number and our favorite default variable name. I call I, my sprite two. Okay. I forget what your what your Mako number is. Oh. Um, well you 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 got my my num number. <laughs> so. I'm gonna set it better myself. Mm -hmm. Good. good. What am I doing wrong here? Hmm. What is your code number? Um, what is? Okay, so I'm creating my sprite two, which is using the ball image. The ball image is the rotated version of our main image right here, right? Stuff image plus current mm -hmm. rotation. And then here I'm setting the position to be my sprite X plus current radius plus five. Where are you setting the um, ball image position, the ball position? That's what my sprite two is. I thought my sprite two was the stuff image. Uh, no, my sprite two is the ball image. Oh, oh, okay. So where's stuff image happening? Um, stuff image doesn't need to be in a sprite. Oh, I know what the problem is, though. I know what the problem variables is. Variables work. Oh. Like that. Go. Hey. Hey, now. Don't be like that. Oh, I think you set ball image to zero in the. Oh. Oh, whoops, I meant to drag that out. 
hey, hey, Richard, stop trying to drag this out. Let's let's deal with this problem now. You're you're right. You're always right, Vivian. Whoa, whoa! Look at those those tulips. Yeah, look at the tulips go. All right, got some tulips. Got some fire hydrants. Doesn't work <laughs> when you go up, but we'll 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 figure that out later. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, all right. It kind of works. Kind of a mess, but you know, we don't have that many pixels to deal with, so beggars can't be choosers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's go ahead and fix our um, uh, up, because that's not working right. Okay, so we're setting the my sprite two position to be my sprite x plus, and we're doing my sprite y times, which is not right. We want to do minus. Okay, so our game perf is still terrible. I think if I wasn't running this on a very good laptop, we would be running into issues. But we got the basic going. Um, I know we're out of time, but you guys gave me so much more art. I gotta, I gotta get it in here just as fast as possible. All right, next one is um, from Shannon. Shannon's just trying to show that she's not all about baseball. <laughs> I was so confused by this image. <laughs> it's a cricket bat. It's like, it's like baseball, but the bat is like a big flat thing. And you, there's only two bases? I don't know how cricket works. Alba just knows. That's true. You like cricket. It's big in India and the UK. Oh my gosh, Vivian. <laughs> That's a good school bus. Bus. <laughs> good luck rolling right. that one up. <laughs> but you know, part of the important thing about this is the inspirate is the aspiration. You know, mm -hmm. one day I'll roll this up. <laughs> and this is an adorable pink rabbit. Yeah, you look at something and you're like, no, surely I can't roll that up. And then you're like, oh, wow, I can't. And at the end, you're, you're rolling up islands and you're rolling up tornadoes. Mm -mm. I need to play Katamari. <laughs> Katamari's so good, guys. Okay. Cow. It's a very good cow. All right, and the last one we have is a pumpkin stack. Interesting. One pumpkin's by Shannon, one of them is by me. It's our collab. I like it. Let's see. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, let me guess. Okay, this is the Vivian Pumpkin. This is the Shannon Pumpkin. Yeah. yeah like All right, guys. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Um, hopefully, you know, when Joey gets back, we're going to work on our Corgi game. I'm really excited about it. So hopefully he, hopefully he's back tomorrow. But, you know, no pressure, Joey. Um, anyway, I'm Richard. I'm Richard on the Make Code Forum. Yeah, I should come on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Vivian. I left your phone to make code for him. <laughs>